have seen a thousand sunsets and sunrises. On land, where it floods forests and mountains with honey-colored light. At sea, where it rises and sets like a blood orange in a multicolored nest of cloud. Sleeping in and out of the vast ocean, I have seen a thousand moons, harvest moons like gold coins, winter moons as white as ice chips, new moons like baby swan's feathers. I have seen seas as smooth as if painted, colored like short silk, or blue as kingfisher, or transparent as glass or black, and crumpled with foam, moving ponderously and murderously. I have felt winds straight from the South Pole, bleak and wailing like a lost child. Winds as tender and warm as lover's breath. Winds that carries a stringent smell of salt and the death of seaweeds. Winds that carry the moist, rich smell of a forest floor, the smell of a million flowers. Fierce winds that churn and move the sea like yeast, or winds that make the waters lap at the shore like a kitten. No silence, the cold, earthy silence at the bottom of a newly dug well. The implacable, stony silence of a deep cave. The hot, dragged midday silence when everything is hypnotized and stilled into silence. By the eye of the song, the silence when great music ends. I have heard summer cicadas cry, so that the song sings stages into your bones. I have heard tree frogs. In an orchestration as complicated as Bach, seen in a forest lit by a million emerald fireflies, I have heard the keys calling over gray glaciers that groaned to themselves, like old people. As they inched their way to the sea, I have heard the whole straight window cries of the mating fur seals as they song to their sleek golden wives. The crisp staccato admonishment of the rattlesnake, the cobweb squeak of the bat. And the bowling row of the right ear, knee deep in purple heather. I have heard wolves baying at a winter's moon. Right holers making the forest vibrate with their roaring cries. I have heard the squeak. Perf and ground of a hundred million colored reef fishes. 
I have seen hummingbirds flashing like opals round the tree of scarlet blooms, humming like a top. I have seen flying fish scattering like quicksilver across the blue waves, drawing silver lines on the surface. With their tails, I have seen spoonbills flying home to roost like a scarlet banner across the sky. I have seen whales, black as tar, cushioned on a cornflower blue sea, creating a vasalis of fountain. With their breath, I have watched butterflies emerge and sit, trembling when the sun irons their wings smooth. I have watched tigers, like flames, mating in the long grass. I have been dive bombed by an angry raven, black and glossy as the devil's hoof. I have lain in water warm as milk, soft as silk, while around me played a host of dolphins. I have met a thousand animals and seen a thousand wonderful things. But all this I did without you. This was my loss. All this I want to do with you. This will be my gain. All this I would gradually have forgotten for the sake of one minute of your company, for your love, your voice, your eyes, hair, lips, body. And above all, for your sweet, ever surprising mind, which is an enchanting quarry, in which is my privilege 